right, kids, gather around and hear about Canadian legend Ryan Reynolds. Uh, for those of you who haven't ever seen a Ryan Reynolds film, you are living under a rock. You need to watch Ryan Reynolds' films right away. Ryan Reynolds is a Canadian hero, a national treasure, and uh, he's so good that the Americans have also seen how great he really is. So here we are looking at Ryan Reynolds' films. His discography, or his filmography, was actually much uh, bigger than, uh, than what we have here today. He's done little minor appearances in so many funny films, um, just like an homage, kind of like that Doogie Howser guy, right? He gets into all all these films he's just like he's there all over the place but it's just tiny little walk crosses that are very memorable to people who watch those movies it's that uh it's that hard laugh in the, uh, when in the theater when you're watching a movie anyhow let's just get right into it uh we're gonna go adventureland i saw this one it was kind of a actually i'm gonna rank his, the first one off is gonna be one of my lower ones it was a very minor thing to me uh, let's see that's a blade trinity now it was an awful movie, but Ryan Reynolds, uh, I thought he was very memorable in this one as far as his characters go. So I was very impressed. Uh, let's see, next, let's get some action in here. Uh, we're gonna rank this one also in the Adventureland. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that one. Uh, let's see now. Oh, we're gonna, let's go Deadpool 1 obviously way up there at the top tier uh, this is one of those breakthrough roles most people right now currently know him as an actor from deadpool don't blame you there it's a hilarious movie and a great take on a, on a character and it's made my first appearance new mutants deadpool comic book worth quite a bit of money thank you thank you ryan reynolds for uh, helping make that one a success unfortunately you didn't help make my green lantern collection worth anymore because that was just terrible can't get there I'm giving you an F it was terrible it was ill-advised there's no really no funny moments for the script no moments for Ryan Reynolds to shine sad um, Deadpool 2 is just as good as Deadpool 1 I like those movies I know a little prejudice against the uh, uh, because it's a comic book thing and I like comic books although like I said I didn't give Green Lantern although comic book wise I always like Green Lantern more it was a shame that they didn't do this one right Okay, let's see. Uh, Detective Pikachu. I saw this one. It was uh, it was a lot of fan service, but I, I liked it. It was pretty good. Uh, funny. Ryan Reynolds kind of playing the straight character. I don't know if you'd say that, but all right. Free Guy liked it. Free Guy was very funny. Uh, good action. Good sci-fi. It's kind of like that. Uh, uh, if he was the little side characters in Grand Theft Auto who just have crap happen to them and they just live their lives and keep resetting. Uh, the, yeah, that's pretty funny. Um, uh, original concept. Uh, again, one thing I'd say is this is a, his list is gonna. It's not just the same thing over and over again. It's not just Deadpool. If you watch his movies, he's, he's got uh, more range than that. Um, let's see now. Hitman's Bodyguard. This is the wife's bodyguard. Wife's bodyguard is not bad. But only because it is a little bit on the redundant side. Yeah, I felt like it was a, a repetitive. Should I get the other bodyguard here? Oh yeah, there's the other bodyguard. Now that one I'm going to give you a higher up. That was a great piece of action. Very funny. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson helps make that one really awesome as well. So, alright, R.I.P.D. Oh, I had such high hopes for this one. But it's down here. I watched it. It was alright. It wasn't like amazing by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, this was good. I hated Ryan Reynolds' character, but it just showed uh, a range. You know, he wasn't the goofy character. It was a serious kind of movie. Uh, I'm gonna give that one up there to the C. C's still not bad. I'd still watch a, a C movie. Uh, Ordinary Magic, haven't seen. Haven't seen this one. So, uh, the, hey, uh, shout out out there. If you've seen Ordinary Magic and you think it's a movie that I should see, leave a message in the comments section. Matter of fact, if you uh, disagree with anything on my list, be polite about it, of course. I have feelings. Uh, leave a message in the comments section. Hit like and subscribe. There you go. That's my break for me. A little advertising for me. It's not really advertising, so I don't have to put a message on there. Okay, also did not see Safe House. So I'm going to say Safe House is on the out list. This looks like, I don't know what that looks like. Uh, I haven't seen anything or heard about this one before. So these ones too, both of them. I, I really haven't heard of these ones, so... 
Uh, let's see now. Uh, we're going forward. Amityville. It was all right. Amityville was all right. Again, another straight performance, so not a, really as much chance for Ryan Reynolds to shine the way he does. Uh, but uh, you know, he's a he's a character that you liked. He's a guy. Uh, let's see now. Oh, and I don't really like remakes, so remakes generally aren't going to get climbing up my list too much. Generally, unless you're amazing, like Tom Savini remaking The Night of Living Dead. That one, if you go back to my tier lists master files, you'll find the uh, zombie list, and you'll find that I did like the Tom Savini 1991 more than I liked the 1968. So. You know, it is possible. There's always an exception to the rule. I always like to remind people that sometimes sequels can be better. Okay, now, speaking of, let's see, Crudes. I actually like this. He's great in there. Yeah, his voice is very appropriate for cartoons. I'm looking forward to more cartoons with him. Um, and I watch it with my kids, so it provides me with happy memories. Thank you, Ryan, for participating in happy memories. The second one wasn't as good, but not bad. Okay, let's see. Turbo. Turbo. <sighs> Mildly forgettable, but you know what? Still not bad. Good voice performance by Ryan. Uh, let's see now. Change up. Just like a trans thing? Uh, nope. I don't know what this one is. I don't think I've seen this one. I, th I think, is that a baby? Is it like a baby's thing? Is he stuck with some babies? Ah, uh, well. Okay, so have you seen Change Up? and uh, you think this is a movie that's recommendable, please uh, let me know. Okay now, uh, let's go with Van Wilder. Van Wilder is one of his big breakthroughs as well. We're gonna put this way up high, very funny, a jewel in the crown of Ryan Reynolds' career at this point. It's one of them anyway. You know, I'm gonna uh, beef this one up a little bit because so far I'm, I'm pretty impressed with some of the stuff that's coming out of Ryan Reynolds' camp here. Let's play with that. There you go. See, I like the balance of this. So I'm going to call this the, the top uh, tier, top t of the top tier list today of Hawk Boys top tier lists. All right, everybody, let's keep going because we are cruising right along here. Now, this one here, if I recall, is a silent performance, and he was wearing the grossest makeup. And uh, yeah, no, I'm not that interested in that uh, that particular movie. Uh, so it's going down there uh, in the F pile with uh, the Green Lantern. It didn't really interest me. Um, and especially this movie may have had some fun stuff going on, but Ryan Reynolds wasn't part of that fun. Uh, they really, they blew, they blew that. <clears throat> and then here we go. Um, voices. I have not heard of this movie. This is the first I'm hearing of this movie. Is that a big dog? Is he hearing, is he, is he hearing animal voices? Is this a Dr. Doolittle thing? I see animals here. Maybe it's a Dr. Doolittle thing. I haven't seen it, so I can't vouch for that. And leave a comment if you have. Okay, if the proposal, Sandra Bullock. Oh, can't go wrong with that casting. They had great chemistry together. I'm going to give it an A. I'm going to give it an A. I would watch this one again. And uh, and it had, uh, yeah, I would say, I'd say just it was overall pretty funny. Uh, I was going to say it had action, but I think I might be, no. I can't remember. I might be thinking of a different uh, film for that one. Uh, I seem to recall this one being very funny. Now, this one here, Just Friends. Ooh, this one is cringy. This one's cringy. There's a lot of fat suit stuff and a lot of, like, kind of embedded fat jokes and insecurity jokes and stuff like that. Ryan Reynolds was still very funny. And uh, I might not reach for it first off. Obviously, I got a bunch of films up in front of it. But still a pretty good film. All right, so like I said, that's our list. Uh, I am fully aware that there are a lot of other Ryan Reynolds performances, probably none as big as any of these ones. Uh, although uh, uh, that comedy Waiting, for example, comes to mind right away. Uh, kind of an American Pie kind of thing, just around the time that Van Wilder was gone. Um, that new one, Red, was it Red Line? Red Ticket? No, Red Line. Red Line? That was pretty good. I saw that the other day. Um, so that's pretty new. So that's probably why it's not on this list here. Uh, remember, I don't make these lists. I just grab them at tiermaker.com. So if you want to go there and, uh, and make one of your own, just type in Ryan Reynolds films into the search bar. Um, this is not an advertisement. So don't ding me, YouTube. I'm not advertising, but I am recommending it because I'm having a lot of fun playing around with tiermaker.com. 
I'm going to be making a few more of these videos too, so stay tuned. So if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Help me out. I would love to uh, to be able to do more of these for you guys and to really amp it up. Uh, so please hit like and subscribe. Uh, maybe share this on one of your social media sites. You know, um, I don't know. Okay, so that is about all the time we have for this video. Uh, thank you again, Ryan Reynolds, for making so many awesome fi uh, films. I hope you aren't insulted if you ever saw this, like you'd ever see this. If you ever see this, I hope you're not insulted with what I think of your bottom tier list here. But I sure do enjoy them. Uh, and uh, I g I'll give anything with Ryan Reynolds at least one uh, viewing. All right. Have a good one, everybody. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you would like to see done next in my tier list uh, videos. Uh, leave that down there, and uh, Old Hawk Boy will uh, almost definitely consider it, unless it's really, really dumb. All right, have a good one. Be nice to each other. Peace in the Middle East, and uh, peace out. Toodles. There, there we go. I'm still working on a catchphrase. All right, what do you think of that catchphrase? Toodles is a little Disney, eh? All right, later, skaters.